top, meaning from 15, 16 feet out behind that three-point line. If they're going to have to beat us, they're going to have to knock down shots. Spears couldn't get to go, but Baker there for the rebound, uses her body for position and gets the putback. And here come the Lady Raiders. Pretty physical underneath right now. So McKenzie and Peoples battling out a little bit down low. Taylor, spin move, didn't know what to do with it. Ends up going to the basket and knocks it down. Looked like at first, Danny, she was trying to kick a stake. Go through their motion twice. You fight through the ball screen at the top of the key with good help defense. And I think that's a shot Coach Whitaker's pleased with. Jeff Coat taking that three-point shot. Baker gets the bucket and gets the chance for one more. Baker is right bringing the ball up for the Lady Raiders. Have a chance to pull within a bucket here on this trip down the court. Well, the body steps out and knocks down the three. Wow, and if she can do that for the Bobcats, she has six points tonight. Brooks again from three. Got it. And the Lady Raiders take the lead at 25 to 24. You know, she's noticing the Tech's having to close out on that three-point line, so she's ready to drive as soon as the closeout comes. She just didn't finish that time. Baker, physical underneath, doesn't get it to drop. She gets it underneath to McKenzie. McKenzie off the glass and in. Right. And back up by 10 are the Bobcats. Moosty out at the top of the key. The Raiders need to answer. Cook Taylor spins, puts up the jumper, gets it to go. Cook Taylor. Pressure on Olabode having to guard the basketball. Tech on a 9-1 run. Texas State has not had a field goal since 11.44 mark, almost four minutes. So good defense, yeah. and just like that, Mays gets it down low, but blocked by Moosty, and the Lady Raiders on the break. Nice run. Olabode having to guard the basketball. Tech on a 9-1 run. Texas State has not had a field goal since 11.44 mark, almost four minutes. So good defense, yeah. and just like that, Mays gets it down low, but blocked by Moosty, and the Lady Raiders on the break. Texas State. Yep. Gonna get two high ball screens, give Brooks the opportunity. Don't no, go ahead and pass it away. Now she'll have it. Well, gets it to Brooks and Spears wide open in the corner for three. Got it! And the Lady Raiders take the lead by one. 21. Starts with the penetration of Anderson. Help defense came. Breyer left wide alone. The closeout too slow. Another three-point shot for Breyer in that corner. Two minutes left to go in this one. Tech trails it by three again. Spears for three. Yes! Ties it again at 73. Spears says, whatever you can do. I <laughs> Brooks. Along the baseline, gets it back to Baker. Baker takes it to the basket. It in, and she'll get one to go with it. Robert, that might be the best. Hey, Robert, we're going to start with the star of overtime first. Kelsey, you went out injured in the second half, came back and led this team, your team, to a victory in the second half in, in overtime. What was it? You were more animated, especially on that and one. Talk about the victory as a team. You know, um, coaches told me to dig in, and. And I, I knew I wanted to play in overtime, and we got there. So that, this is what we practice for every day. And these are the big moments that I want to play in, and, and that's what I did. What was it down the stretch in the second half that your team found its rhythm, especially on the defensive side of the ball? You know, we practice that every day. We practice being down. We practice situations, and we know how to fight. And that's, that's one thing about this team is we're never going to give up. We're going to fight the whole time. And we showed that tonight. I mean, this is a huge overtime win. So I'm just proud of my teammates and how they fought. I mean, that, that, that's something unbelievable. Great job. Go enjoy it with your team. Coach Whitaker, you asked your team all game long to dig deep, hold them defensively, fight over screens, and when it counted, Jamie Rowe got the biggest steal of the game. What went through your mind? Huge play. For her to just be up the floor, aware, to see that they were coming at her and be able to switch that, just a heads-up play. She does that all the time, just right place, right time, and made a great play and, and gave us a chance. We talked to Kelsey about her play in overtime, but your senior captain, no bigger, seven points in overtime. Yeah, I mean, they're, I, they said she can't go. I said, yes, she can. <laughs> yes, she can and she will. Um, she was awesome. I mean, we have to have her on the floor. we got to find ways to rest her more. But when Dial got in foul trouble, she just had to play way too many minutes. But proud of her and, and how they continued to grind. We were so slow at times and just so methodical and finally started to be more aggressive and, and play like I know we can play. We saw your emotion on the sideline all game long, but how proud of you or your team early this season already getting an overtime win as they did. Very proud. You know, we we're, we got to find ways to win games. At the end of the day, that's the most important thing, even if it doesn't look pretty all the time, and that's what this team did. 